now let's talk about recursive descent parser <clears throat> i have taken a small grammar and the grammar is only three productions e derives ie dash e dash derives plus ie dash or epsilon only three productions are there just for the sake of simplicity i have taken a small grammar now the problem is how can i write a recursive descent parser if you see if you have you know remember that uh, classification recursive descent function is one of the top down parsers so it is a top down parser and the name recursive descent came from the fact that for every variable we are going to write a function for example for the variable e i am going to write this function like this variable is e and if look ahead equal to i then i am going to match i and then call e dash which means for this production e derives i e dash this is the function right so how is this function written check this e is the function name and if look ahead equal to i if look ahead equal to i then i am going to match i and then call e dash okay and l is nothing but look ahead it is a global variable l is look ahead and uh, you know it is actually l equal to get char which means at every point l is going to take the next character and uh, for e dash for this second production e dash derives plus i e dash the function is like this first one is you have to check if the look ahead is plus and match with plus and then match with i and then again call e dash which means this one okay else written written is for the third production i am just simply returning nothing right so for these three productions i have written three functions and writing the functions is called recursive descent parser and next one is there is a function called match match will do just this if the input is equal to the you know required if the input is equal to i is it going it is going to match and if it is input is equal to plus and input is equal to i it is going to match see this match is nothing but whenever whenever the input matches with whatever i wanted i am going to increment the uh, look ahead how can i increment the look ahead is by using the function get char if i use the function get char we are just incrementing the look ahead pointer otherwise it is going to print error i'll take an example and explain you and main function is supposed to call everything so main function is going to start with the initial variable e and finally if the look ahead is dollar then we are going to say successful so you have to just remember one thing uh, whatever the number of productions we have we are going to write one function for every variable for example for the variable e i have one function and if for the variable e dash i have one function and if any variable is having more than one production then i am going to have more than one if else cases or i can even have switch cases here i have written if if l equal to plus means i am taking the first production else it is just returning returning means the second production and then uh, look at the function match now match char t how, how am i matching t is whenever the input is equal to whatever symbol i wanted i am just matching it and then incrementing the pointer i'll just take an example and see so according to that grammar i plus i dollar has to be generated right so let's see what happens if you call main main is the function main is the function in the recursion stack see here we don't use any special stack uh, the stack provided by operating system which is recursion stack is going to use you know is is, be, is going to be useful for passing the entire you know example now i am going to be in main and main is going to call the first line first line is what there are three lines in this first line is what e therefore one more recursion one more uh, stack record is going to be created and that record is going to be for the function called e which means we are starting the tree with e okay ha huh. now we go to the function e but then remember that after coming back we have to again start with line number 2 so in main i am again going to start with line number 2 so now i am in function e function e this one right this is, there are first line second line and then third line now what happens is we are going to see what you uh, know if l equal to i what is the look ahead here look ahead is going to start with first symbol this is this is l here l equal to i if l equal to i then match i and then call e dash which means if if whatever we wanted to see 
that is equal to whatever the, their i is just match it what is match going to do match is simply going to check this and increment the pointer which means look ahead is going to be incremented which means here i have taken the production i e dash that is the meaning of it okay and next one is it is going to call the uh, function e dash so e is going to call the function e dash and after the function e dash returns we are going to you know come to the fourth line fourth line means it is all over fourth line okay now we have to go to the function e dash yes we are in the function e dash now check if l equal to plus yes l equal to plus now we are looking at plus therefore we have to match plus and then i and then call e dash which means i am taking this function plus i and e dash which means this e dash is expanded to plus i and e dash okay so in e dash these are the lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so now we have we you know we have seen that we are at uh, line number plus and i have been matched and now we are at line number 4 and it is again calling e dash so after returning i have to come out let us say line number 6 let us say line number 7 this e dash has to return and now i am at the the next e dash and i am looking at dollar isn't it so plus and i have been matched the next look at symbol is dollar now i am looking at dollar and e dash therefore the calling is e dash is look ahead equal to plus no it has to go to else part therefore simply it is going to return everything is going to return everything is going to be over so finally in main look ahead equal to dollar and it is successfully passed so you know what what has happened is we have written the functions for every variable and then we are able to call the functions using the stack provided by operating system it is also called as recursion stack therefore you know it is also a kind of mimicking the construction of parse tree even this uh, this particular parser recursive descent parser is also a top down parser that is why it started from the top and then it generated the entire string okay